In this lesson, you will learn about tally marks or tallies. Okay. So to do tally marks, what we do is we are counting things. So it doesn't matter what we're counting. Maybe we can count days of the week or whatever it is. But when we do tally marks, so here's one tally mark that represents one thing. Two, three, four. So there are four tally marks representing four things. When we get to the fifth one, we cross it. Okay, so that means we're done with that section of tally marks. When we get to six, we start another set of tally marks. There's six, seven, eight, nine, or one, two, three, four. So the fifth one we're going to cross. And it really doesn't matter which way you cross. Some people cross that way, some cross that way. It's the same. So here we have five and another five, so five, ten, which makes counting easier. If I wanted to, I could keep tallying. In this case, I'd have five and five is 10. So five, 10, 11, 12 tally marks. Okay. So that's how you do tally marks. So let's practice some. If there were five B's. Okay. So we're going to tally one, two, three, four. I got to the four. So now my fifth one, the fifth B, I'm going to cross. Okay. So five B's. How about the ladybugs? There are nine ladybugs, so let's tally. One, two, three, four. Now I'm, I'm at five, so I'm going to cross five. Start a new set, six, seven, eight, nine. Five plus four more is the nine ladybugs, okay? How about these moths? 14 moths. Mm, that's a lot. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five is, t is cross. I keep counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is a cross. So that's five more. One, two, three, four, five. So now I'm at five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So five, ten, and four more is 14. So that's how you would tally each of those numbers of bugs. And that's the end of our lesson on tally marks.